All right, guys, Brazy is back in the cut on the link up on Echo Room. Woo! Today, I'm feeling extra special because I'm blessed uh, and honored to have uh, a legend with me in the studio. So we're about to have a great time for sure. So I need everybody to just grab a drink, relax, kick back, and just enjoy the show because it's about to be super interesting. I have with me the legendary Adewale Ayuba. <laughs> Make some noise, guys. Uh, thank, he's you, a, thank, he's you, a, thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. Really good to have you here. Uh, nice. For a lot of cats who are saying, oh, you know what? Um, I'm trying to understand um, who he's talking about. This is a legend when it comes to Fuji music. Also a pioneer uh, of a lot of modern sounds and fusions. Uh, AKA Mr. Johnson. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> I'm getting man. the hype Thank right, you. yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> really good to have you on the link up on Echo yes, Room. Um, so, so first, before we get into some very interesting catalog and the journey of your music, I've always wondered, and I'm sure a lot of people have wondered, what is Mr. Johnson? Because everybody knows he has Mr. Johnson. I'm like, okay, what is Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson, mm-hmm. uh, I'm so popular about that name, but it's what... It's about something that happens to me when I was growing up. Right. So there was a time I went to Brazil. Mm. So with my senior brothers, uh, we went to one beach called uh, Rio de Janeiro Beach. Uh, so a lady walked to me by herself. That, oh, may I know you? My name is Sonia. I said, wow, Sonia, my name? Because I asked her again. She said, yeah, well, you don't have a name. But I don't want to tell her, I'm a Diwali Ayuba. <laughs> she might not understand it, but... And I said, I'm Mr. Johnson. Yeah. So then, later, he asked me, which school do I go? Do I go? I said, uh, I'm in New York University, you know, like a shy hood, you know, the way you lie, you know. Yeah. I, though I don't like it, but I'm telling you, <laughs> but I have to. Yeah. Because that was my first time being abroad. You know? right. So I told her that I'm Mr. Johnson. Then we started... I can't, I can't say dating, friending. <laughs> because, Is that so, what it was called then? <laughs> yeah, it could, can't be dating. You know, she liked me, I like her. But yeah. at, the, at the end of the day, uh, a guy that lives in the same house, right. where we are, that told that all, all everything about, about myself, as I'm you, but I want to stab me at the back. So, so she got to know. She now said, Wally, why don't you? you are you ba? You are you ba? You are a singer. Why are you telling me you're Misty Johnson? Mm. So she, that thing really taught me a lot. So when I got home, I now wrote a song about, about it. it. So the music got so popular. Yeah, it was a big People hit. People now too. start calling me Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson. That's how Mr. Johnson goes. Right. Fantastic stuff. And, um, after a career that has spanned, you know, decades, you've released so many albums, um, both internationally and locally. Thank God. It's, Thank it's God. amazing. And yeah. what's the secret to the longevity? Like, how come after all these years, you're still here doing, doing the music and still putting out music? What's and the- you know, the talent is from God. So mm. I will tell you, the grace comes from him too. So I, if I tell you I have no reason I'm still here, I'm lying. <laughs> but I know that I, know I have a grace mm. that comes from from somebody. I know that is my God. So mm. I thank God for that. All right. Yeah. Um, can we talk about some of the the, the albums? Um, because, you know, right now with the music industry, mm-hmm. it's it's so big. However, a lot of the things that are happening right now, you actually, you know, achieved a lot of those things. You've yeah. toured. Yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think you even got like a major deal with like, uh, was it Sony Music? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Please tell us about that. You were signed to Sony. Yeah, yeah. It happened to me in Nigeria here. Mm, so right. So there was a time Sony Music came to Nigeria. So mm. I happened to be one of the artists they signed. So mm. I released Bobo Music from Sony. So CMC, CBS before okay. Sony. Okay. So I, I released Mr. Johnson play for me mm. with Sony Music. Wow. So, and almost twenty albums right now. Yeah, we turned good. Yeah. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, let's talk about, you know, the the something that people talk about too when it comes when they associate your brand yes. um with the music. They say it's Bonsue. <laughs> <laughs> um a lot of a lot of the new kids. That's will, my style though. Yeah. So what so what you is know you have a lot of Fuji artists. Okay. So you must have your own style. So I call my Bonsue. Okay. Though that Bonsue name is not something that just come to me. Mm. It's okay. like uh, my mother uses to abuse me. Ah. Anytime my mother sent me an errand, then yeah. when I was young, so I would just be singing. 
till I forget what they asked me to do. <laughs> so, so you now get to the level that my mother will now first of all say, don't go and be bobo bobo and swill. Malo ma bobo bobo and swill till you forget what we ask you. Okay. So, by the time I now thought of, ah, let me write, let me have my own yeah. brand. Okay. And I'll say, that name that my mother used to abuse me, that's mm. what I will use. Okay, so it's like that's a sub-genre um, of Fuji that you created yourself, that you coined yes. out yourself. You know, Fuji is... Yes, big. yes. But my style, I say, let me just use Bonsui Fuji. Mm. That is my own style. Then people see Ayubadu, that is mm, okay. King of Bonsui Fuji. So, ah, right. Now I understand. That, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. And and also um for <coughs> hip hop music, you know, Afro pop music in Nigeria. Yeah. I know this one that you were one of the um first, you know, Fuji artists or you know, artists in your um, from your era yes. to to support them and even feature on their yeah. on their songs. I personally yeah. remember um, Jasmine, all of thing. Thing. former ex appeal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was something. Watching that growing up, yeah. that was really something. Um, how do you feel being one of the pioneers of you know, um, the sound that we have right it's now? It's great. It's great. I thank God because uh, me to me, I did the collaboration because I just want to make Fuji popular. Okay, that is me. Mm. You know, that's the reason behind collaboration. Yes, I want the young generation to understand Fuji music, mm. and you see them. Before Raise the Roof, all these R&B pop artists, mm. they want to sing uh, exact like American. Mm. They don't even want to put pigeon, yeah. talk less of Yoruba. Right. Okay. I started that. And I told Jasmine, I love him, Jasmine, we are doing collaboration, but I'm going to put Fuji into it. I'm going to sing Yoruba into it. Even she, she, she came to me and yeah. they are like, they are, their name is X Appeal. Okay. I was the one that told him, that, no, you are no more X Appeal. He is because somebody that's very cool headed. Mm. I like him. He loves my music. Yeah. So. And I said, okay, change your name. What's your name? He said, my, my name is Olofi. I said, Olofi is your name. Mm. But at the end of the day, he put Jasmine. He just wants <laughs> something funky, you know, like a young guy. Yeah. So at the end of the day, that's my Olofi. So you're actually christening them that Olofi? Yes. Ah. Yes. Nice. So it, was, it has never been Olofi, but mm. he met me. So we work together. I said, let this, be, let this one be project. Mm. He was with me for like two years before we did it. Mm. Because the, the guy is so calm. Mm. You, know, you want to understand Fuji music, so I, me yeah. too, I will understand the r and so we can do something. Yeah, you different. can see what happened yeah. as we release it today. Still a hit. It's still a hit. So... Mm. We give glory to God. That's what born. That's what after that you can see now people of Gongwa saw could mm-hmm. that oh mm-hmm. we can now put you yes. Everybody has started. So we thank God for that. Give birth to that modern, modern, modern yeah, Afro. Afro yes. Thank you. With fusions. Fusion. Awesome, awesome. Uh and of course, another very <laughs> interesting thing. You, you know, let's talk about like your new projects. I, I saw something fascinating. I, I want you to <laughs> confirm if it's true. Yeah. Uh you dabbled into a my piano. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a, your new song? You yeah. did an Amar Piano On Koloba Koloba? Yeah, Koloba, yeah. That's... What is Amar Piano? Is it no sound? Yeah. Of, and I want Fuji to be popular. Mm-hmm. That is it. But when you listen to the way I sing, mm. the drum behind my own beat, okay. that had in future Amar Piano, I'm still taking my Fuji abroad. Everything still, is still on Fuji music. Mm let people know what is Fuji. What I'm doing is like, I've said that one maybe like seven, eight years ago that okay. I want to digitalize Fuji music. Yes. I want Fuji music to be playing disco hall. So that's what I'm still doing. Mm. So all this thing I'm putting to Fuji just yeah. to make Fuji well known all over the world. Right. That is Still it. in the in the culture of exporting, culture of exporting Fuji. Fuji music to the world. Yes. Right. So are you looking to work with some of the new artists to also, you know, um, blend the Fuji sound with the sound that we have right now. Some of the new artists that are out there. What we have now is Afro already. It's already yeah. Afro. Okay. So, so but, but do you want to also collaborate with Of some course, of, of course, of course. Uh, because they've done well, they've opened doors, mm. man. <laughs> I'm telling you, they've tried. Right. So I really give them kudos for what they have done so far. So I'm ready. But okay. I just want people to know that I call this new album Uncommon. Hmm. They've listened to Koloba Koloba. They've heard uh, Raise the Roof. They know the kind of artists are you buys. Hmm. So 
let me just stay on my own for them to know that this, this man is there. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's why I'm, st- I'm doing it. But after this uncommon thing, mm. I think I need to collaborate. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. We'll be looking forward to that. Thank um, you. So, you know, on a, another very interesting tip, mm. I want I want us to talk about three three interesting facts that some people, or a lot of people don't know about Ayuba. It could be from your career, the high point, something about your personal life. Three interesting facts about you. If you don't say anything mm. for me to back it, say either to say yes or no, mm. I wouldn't know what you don't know about me. Ah. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm open there. Okay, because I've asked you some, I like, yes. like the Mr. Johnson and the Bonsway, but... Yes, yes. Uh, my name is Adewale mm. Sali Okeola. You might see that one in a book. They say, who is this Adewale Sali Okeola? Mm. That is my name. Mm. So Adewale Ayuba is my stage name. Right. When you see people call me Mr. Johnson, they're still calling Ayuba. Ayuba. When they say Mr. Bobo, they're referring to Ayuba. Right. When they say Mr. Kampari, mm. when they say Joe Fuji, you know, all these things, it's my name. <laughs> so, so I thank God for that. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happily married man. All right. Because I believe that is the key. When the talent comes from God mm. and you want him to support you, that means you have to be an obedient right. son right. to God. And God says a man should marry a woman. Mm. And God says whoever find a good wife, a big, find a woman, find a good, good thing. thing. I don't know. So, so it's very compulsory. So I don't do I don't do anything that will contrary to the will or to regulation of God. That is Ayuba. Have a woman in the house. Respect a woman the way she should be. Believe on your own children. Raise them as God is raising you. You see, those are the things. That is me. <laughs> that is Ayuba for you. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, I also uh, know that when you did the, the collaboration with Bantu, yeah. um, you guys you know, were shutting down shows with predominantly uh, mm-hmm. even non-Africans. And even at that time, yeah. Uh, you want to tell us about that experience? Imagine being Yo, you see, like as a food artist. Raise the Roof Nigeria. came out before mm. Bantu. I was in Germany okay. for a tour of three months. Mm. And we were there with my band, full band boys. Right. So at the train station at Kokon in Germany, a guy ran to me. Mm. I never met, I never heard of Bantu before. So he ran to me. Sa, 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 sa. This is at the, at the train station. Shout my name, are you by you? And you say, wow. And you know, Bantu is like a mix. Yeah. It's white and blue. Until they say, are you by that speak Yoruba? Oh, you know, yeah, I'm, I am your son, sir. Kiniko, Kiniko, I want to meet you. I've been looking for, I don't know you. What are you doing, Kon? And I told him, I'm here with my full band. Mm-hmm. Was, You're here, please calm down, calm down. I wanted to take a train, I have to calm down from the train. So we are now talking. I said, Please, what you did to Jasper, I love me, raise the roof, please. I want to collaborate with you. I sing. I sing Afro, like fella, things like that. He showed me some of his videos in, in his phone. Why? Wow, he even called his brother to join us. So, please, I let me. Do. I said, no problem. I will do it. That's it. Hmm. You know, at the time when you think you are helping people, yes, you are doing actually, it for yeah. yourself. Because it went on to be so big and also we one got to, We got to our world. Wow. Kora Award in South Africa. Right. You see, that is it. So we just hit the studio. We did it, then show the video. Mm. So when I came back from America, from Germany, that that sound was like a seven month on top, number one song in mm. Germany. Wow! On radios for that. So so when I came back from Germany, so my manager told me that that they are doing ten years anniversary of Kora mm. Award, <laughs> that we need to take. Give, Take a bit, uh, put in some yeah. some of our works. And I'll say, okay. They are putting the Joe Fuji, things like that. And I say, put Fujify, uh, what the name of the album is uh, Fuji Satisfaction. So put Fuji Satisfaction. Or they say, that one you did the jammy. Put it, of course, it's my work. Mm. So that's how we did it. Wow. Before you know, we got, we got three nominations letters. Mm. Wow. Well, when I go, when I got that three <clears throat> nominations, I called the journalist. That wow, we have nomination for yeah, Kora Award. Yeah. I'm not even expecting. Mm. I wasn't expecting to win any. 
I thought, because Angela kid you all these superstar from America, yeah, from well, Nigeria, so they are together. But to God be the glory, we won two awards. Mm. So, so I thank God for that. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, just to... <coughs> It's, 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 it's a great honor to, to have this conversation with you and tap from your wealth of knowledge. So it's only right that, you know, we give some word of wisdom to the to the artists, the young yeah. artists and everybody yeah. else. Yeah. Um, what would you say, you know, from a personal point of view, um, would be the best advice for young Nigerian artists that are trying to make it become successful and also have a lasting career? Firstly, you have to respect the person that gave you that talent, which is God. Don't ever try to do something contrary to his will. Try to follow his rules. That is, you must have to, you have to be religious, you see, religiously yes. worship your God. Then, uh, other one, being a singer is a character that you perform, Right? You shouldn't take, you know, I'm Adewale Ayuba, right? Yeah. That is when I get to the stage. Mm. But when I'm in my house, I'm Ayuba. I'm like other people, you know? Mm. There's no difference between you and another person. Mm. When you get to your stage, there's a character you put on right. because of your show. That's why they call it show yes. Let show business stop on that stage. You don't see anybody that doesn't sing as somebody that is lower than you mm. or you see yourself you are a superstar. What yeah. is superstar? It's only Nigeria. I won't lie to you. What is a superstar? When God blesses the work of your hand, mm. it doesn't mean that you are better than God. You see, it's just a bless of God. It's a grace. It's grace. Mm. So that you don't look down on nobody. You don't talk to your friends as if you've arrived. Mm. God says it in the Bible, the humility. You need to be humble calm down. That, that is the one to have all this. You will get to where you are going. All right. That's my own. Amazing stuff. I want to thank you for, you know, great uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, interview and then sharing, you know, so much, so much um, knowledge with us. So yeah. wish you all the best with your thank career. You. Thank well. you. Thank and you. We can't wait for the, for the new projects. Um, yes. um, for my Ma Piano, I, I can't imagine what you would experiment with next. Um, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Thank you, my dear. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll be talking to the legendary uh, Fuji music, uh, musician, right? Uh, Atewale Ayuba. Sure. Also, a pioneer of a lot of the modern sounds and fusions that we enjoy today and that we actually do export, all right? Uh, you know the story. You know the people is featured. You know the people is works with. And now, you know, all the background uh, information Mason, right? The link up, Brazy Echo Room, we're signing out right now. Peace. My Joe, fine girl. My Joe, fine babe. My Joe, fine man. Only are you, but on the Fuji Bonsu. Ain't a co, a more cool, Lero, to Leleni, Umbo Adero. Baby, my Joe, Jomi Bonsu. Uh, you can do without it. Yep, I'm only my shako in my best. Cut a magazine with their friends. That is me, Dr. Adewale Ayuba. Live in the echo room. Don't touch the dial.